Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Debbie, and if you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Click that button down below and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. Also, please don't forget to hit that bell and turn on your post notifications so you can get notified of any future videos. So today, you guys, is honestly, I really don't know what else to do. Like, I have maybe two new products and the rest is a bunch of old products that I have, which I'm gonna use today. Um, two of the new products I'm gonna show you real quick is this right here. This is the ColourPop Blush Crush Palette. And then I also found this at the um, CVS because I had to go pick up a couple of things. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Prime Focus Primer Serum. It's a hydrating serum, so I'm excited to try that. And the rest of the products are products that I have used in the past, um, just probably haven't used them lately. So I figured I would use that in, you know, in the video today. But um, yeah, uh, it's super crazy. Like we can't really do much. So I'm sure you guys are in the same boat as I am. Like we can't really be outdoors or try to stay inside as much as possible, keep distance from people. And yeah, so we're just gonna jump in. As you can see, I have my brows already filled in and that is pretty much it. I have some lip gloss on. I have for my brows, I did use the BH Cosmetics BH Studio Pro palette. Um, I have to check to see if they have this in stock again. I don't know. I remember the last time I checked, which was like a couple of months ago, they didn't. Um, and on my lips, I have the um, Mentha Lip Shine, which is this one. I picked this up at a Bath and no Bed Bath no Bath and Body Works. I always get those two confused, but I did pick this one up at Bath and Body works yes um and i really do like it i actually picked up three in total the other one's in my bag and i have the extra one right there so it's really good they were on sale at the time so that's why i picked the three up but um i really do like them and they are nice and shiny and minty and i actually really like it it's not super overpowering minty but it's like really nice i really like it so right now um I'm gonna prime my face and I guess I'll use this right now. This is the, like I said, the Wet n Wild uh, Primer Focus Primer Serum, the hydrating one. So it says hydrating water-based serum formulated with rose water and green tea extract, refines and nourishes as it preps and primes the skin for extended makeup wear. So I guess I'm gonna use this and only this today. It comes with a little dropper, which is pretty nice. Smells nice. I do smell the rose and I do smell the, um, what is it, the green tea. I'm gonna apply that on my face. Mm. It feels nice. You see, maybe it feels tacky because it says, it, it says, it says that it's supposed to make you makeup last. It does feel a little tacky. Okay. It's cool. All right. Not bad, not bad. And it smells really good, so it's not overpowering, which is great. Um, for foundation today, I am going to be going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus uh, foundation stick. I am going to be using the shade Classic Beige and let's see. I don't remember if this was like the right shade for me, but we're going to go in and apply this all over. I'm not really a big foundation stick kind of girl, but this is why I want to use what I have because you guys I have so much makeup and I can't always remember like what works you know hopefully this isn't like OD right now but I don't know we go we, we shall see um, I'm trying to see what brush I'm gonna use I guess I'll use this brush I haven't really used this brush in like I think I used it once so let's just take all the fuzz off of it first yeah the reason why there's fuzz is because I haven't used it, so it's just been sitting there. And this is the BH Cosmetics brush. It's like a foundation brush. So let me put my hair back. And I'm just gonna 
pat that in. Hmm. It's blending it out really nicely. And yes, I know it's surprising. I only used one primer. You gotta try some something new, you know? Maybe it'll work and it'll make my makeup last all day. Who knows? Not that I'm gonna be wearing makeup, you know, like that. You know, because I'm stuck at home. But it's good to know that it'll work, you know? I hope you guys are doing well and trying to do um, as best as possible under the circumstances of being home and hopefully you guys are safe and healthy. You know, I know my kids are going crazy not being able to see their friends. Right now they're like, oh, I miss school. And I'm like, yeah, and before you guys are like, I don't wanna go to school. You know, at times, you know, they have their moments, but overall they do like school which is great, but right now they are not going. They've had, you know, work on the computer. We have packets and stuff, which is crazy because I became a teacher overnight. You know, me and my man, we're now like teachers, which is crazy, which is fine. It's just sometimes, you know, kids get into their moods and then sometimes we have our, our, our days, you know, where we're just like, Arr! but we'll make it work. We've been making it work, which is great. So. All right, so this is what I have going on. I actually really like it. I like the way it looks. I like the brush. Um, now I'm gonna go in with some concealer. Let me just close this foundation stick real quick. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned it, but this is in the shade Classic Beige, um, the foundation stick. Now I'm gonna go in with some Makeup Revolution um, concealer. This one is in the shade C8. I'm just going to apply that right here on the under eye. On the nose chin a little bit on the forehead why not um, I'm gonna grab oh I'm gonna go with my elf sponge I'm just gonna blend that out all right to cream contour I'm gonna go in with another wet and wild photo focus stick foundation in the shade almond this I have used um, but I figured I would use it since I'm using the um, actual foundation stick all over my face and I really do like this one a lot to cream contour I think it's really good so this one is in the shade almond and I am going to be grabbing my contour stick. I mean, contour brush. This one's from Real Techniques. Look how beautiful that looks. I think it looks so freaking good. I love this. It looks really, really nice, natural, soft. It looks good. I really like this. I like it a lot, actually. Um, all right, so now I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. I also like the products that I'm using today because they're all super affordable, and you can easily find them anywhere. Like any drugstore, you could definitely find these a lot at Ulta. So definitely check those places out. So I'm gonna grab the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder and I'm just gonna set my under eye. And I'm gonna use my real tech, um, my e.l.f. sponge. All right, so now to bronze up my face, I'm going to go in with the NYX Professional Makeup Highlighter and Bronzer Palette. I don't know if they have these in store. I did get this as like a free perk. Um, at, at the store, but this is what it looks like, and I love the look, the bronzer in here. It's so good. Um, so yeah, uh, today, I actually, today is, what is today? 
so lost with days. Today is Sunday, and I did go do laundry today. Me and my man, my kids actually stay home with my mom, and they I don't allow them to go anywhere, like any stores with me, just because of this whole thing going on. Um, so they stayed home, and me and him went to do laundry. You guys, I was so scared that they were going to close, like, all laundry mats. So I was like, oh, my God, we need to go get this done, like, today. Um, and I was like, what are we going to do if they close? But laundry mats are a necessity, so they are not closing, which is great. That's one less thing I have to worry about. Um, after that, we ended up going... Sorry, I'm just picking, like, the little hairs off my brush. Um, we ended up going to Stop and Shop, and... You guys, I found, like, the mother load of goya beans. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm Spanish. I mean, you don't have to be Spanish to eat beans, but we we can live off beans, like rice and beans. I have to have my rice and I have to have my beans if I'm going to have a meal. You know, if I have to survive off of that, I need my rice and beans. So we ended up going there and we found literally, like I said, the mother load of beans. They must have just got them in and I bought, like, 12 cans maybe 14 cans and I left some just in case for other people because I was like we need to stock up on this because we don't know what the situation's gonna turn out you know looking like later on so I was like we need to get now um so yeah but um the brush I'm using is the ColourPop F21 so we ended up stocking up on some beans and my mom was actually um, at the store a couple days ago and she found me um, rice because there's no rice I was lucky to pick up a big bag before but we're you know I already you know I've been using it and I don't want to run out I have two kids and myself and my husband that you know we gotta eat so I just you know she ended up finding me like a big another big bag and I was so thankful so I went to go pick that up from her and I'm good with my rice and beans now. <laughs> um, so just make sure you pick up like smart things, things that aren't going to go bad, you know? So definitely things in cans, rice, pick up water, you know, your basic necessities that are you're going to be able to last. Pasta, sauce, like jarred sauce, canned sauce, things like that. Um, yeah, we're trying to do as best as possible. I feel like I've spent so much money at the supermarket now than I have ever done in like a month. And I think in a matter of like two in a week, I've spent so much money on just food, which is crazy. But that's what's going on right now you guys it is absolutely crazy out there so just don't fight I've seen like I remember I went to um, Target to pick up an online order and this is when everybody just was like just started to hear more about it and you know hasn't really got it wasn't really crazy like still stuff was still on the shelf and this lady wanted to beat me up she was like I all I did was go to the Target line and there was a line there and I was like, um, I was like, hi, I was like, are you online? And she was like, don't look at me. Don't start with me. I was like, okay. I wasn't, I was just asking if you're online and she was like, bitch, don't talk to me. And I was like, oh, I was like, okay. So, um, oh, I'm going in with the Milani blush in the shade Luminoso and my Real Techniques blush brush. So I was like, okay, I'm like, um, hmm. She had a broken leg. She was in a wheelchair, but I was like, in my head, I'm like, there's no reason why you need to be such a biatch, you know? Like, seriously. And I, you know, I was just like, all right, whatever. So I went in front of the line because the other person wasn't online and she didn't want to respond to me in easy yes or no. So I just went and, you know, and then she was like, oh, no, she is not. She better not. And I was like, I'm so confused right now. So I assumed she was online, but she didn't give me a straight answer. So the girl came out and she was like, OK, um, you know, she went directly to her and she helps her out. But I was just like, it was that all really necessary? And then I happened to find out from the two girls that she was just being just as rude to them as she was to me over nothing you know like I don't understand like okay I understand you have a broken leg but people are going to be nicer to you because you're kind of like in a wheelchair and 
You know what I mean? Like, there's no reason. Nobody has a reason to be an ass, you know? So I was just like, whatever. I honestly, I found it kind of funny. I, I laughed and that probably pissed her off more, but it was just like, I don't know. I was like, whatever. I was in a good mood actually that day, so it really didn't bother me. Um, I just found it really, really funny. All right, so I'm also going to go in with some highlighter, and I'm going to go in with the Revolution Soap X Makeup Revolution, this one right here. This palette here, I barely use this, but these highlighters are really, really good. I really like them. So I'm going to go in with maybe this one here. I'll mix this one and this one together. I'm going to go in with my Milani brush. This is the All Over Blending Brush. And I'm just going to apply that on the high points right here. See? Look how pretty that is. Both of these together are so pretty. Look at that. A little bit on the tip. Cupid spell. And done. I feel like this would be... So Ooh. Ouch. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I feel like this would be such a really, like quick and easy makeup look like you don't even need shadow if you want to add some bronzer I feel like this would be really pretty the skin looks so good and then the highlight it just looks super fresh like I really do like this I think I'm gonna do this more often I'm not gonna lie I really like this um, wet and wild photo focus found stick foundation alrighty so moving on to eyes you guys this is the ColourPop blush crush palette look how pretty i like ColourPop does so good with their eyeshadow palettes and with their packaging i think it's so freaking pretty it's look at this these colors are so freaking pretty i absolutely love the colors in here this is definitely a palette i would most likely use every single day and like i said the packaging is absolutely beautiful it's so pretty it's so spring I love it. It's super soft. You know what I mean? I love it. Even the inside, it's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Very, very pretty with ColourPop. I absolutely love it. And I can't wait to get, like, jump into this palette. So I'm just going to go in with the Morphe M433. So going in with this shade here at the bottom, it's like a dusty rose. I'm going to grab the brush and I'm just going to go in right here on the crease area. Oh, this is a really pretty color. I love the shade. Oh, yes. I like this. Very pretty. It's soft. Really nice. Very, very pretty. I really love the monochromatic palettes that they come out with. They're so freaking beautiful. I honestly would just use this shadow all over and call it a day that's really pretty but we're not gonna do that we're gonna try a, more of these shadows in the palette because we want to see how well they perform so now that I'm done with this color even though I really like I think this is like my favorite color so far cheek to cheek I feel like this is perf a perfect shade for me Perfect. So I'm going to go in with Made a Blush and I'm going to flip the brush. So use the clean side. I'm going to go in with that middle shade here. And I'm just going to apply that right here on the lid. Oh, that is pretty too. Perfect. So flipping that brush again and going in with Cheek to Cheek. I'm just going to apply a little bit more in here looks really pretty I like that a lot actually um, I'm gonna go in with this shade here and I'm moored this pretty shade here it kind of looks like a peachy pink but I like it so we're gonna go in with that shade here and this is a Sigma shader inner corner e46 this is like one of my go-to brushes it's like the best brush ever and I'm going to apply that right here in the inner corner. Doesn't that look so good? I love an inner corner um, highlight just like this. It's nice and subtle, but still gives you like that 
you know? All right, so now you guys, I'm going to grab a brush like this. Here it is. So I'm grabbing the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill brush, the JH43. And actually, you guys, I'm really upset because one of the brushes that comes in her palette, it's that brush that ha it's really chunky but fluffy. That brush, I was cleaning it with my Cinema Max Secret, right? Is that what that's called? This thing, the Cinema Secrets cleaner. Yeah, the whole thing came out. I was like, what the hell? So I literally, like, I was like, oh, what came out? I thought it was, like, this part here, you know, because sometimes this comes off. But the whole, the whole, like, brush, the hairs of the brush came out. I was like, oh, no! So I'm kind of upset that that... I don't have that brush anymore because I really like that brush. It was like the fat blending brush. You know what I mean? So, oof, sorry guys. I had to run out real quick because my son was like, it smells like it's burning. And I was like, oh my God. I was like, what? Because Tom's in the bathroom and I was like, oh, what if something is burning? Let me go check. Nothing's burning. Food is cooking. He's just, uh, I don't know. I guess somebody has their fireplace going on or something. But um, we're safe. <laughs> All right, so moving on to this brush right here. This is the JH43. I'm going to go in with this one. This one is How Rouge. So I'm going to go in with this brush and I'm just going to use that to wing out right here and just to like do a little line right here. A little wing. Nothing crazy. All right, so now I'm just going to grab this ColourPop E16 brush, and I'm going to go in with Love Sick, which is this one here, and I'm going to use this shade underneath the brow bone. There you go. All right. So now, you guys, I'm just going to go in with some lashes real quick. These are the Salon Perfect 614s, and these are going to look amazing with the eyes. So once I'm done applying those, I'll be back to continue on with the rest of the makeup look. All right, guys, so I finally finished putting on my lashes. Now I'm going to go back in with that eyeshadow palette and finish off the eyes. I'm going to grab the same Morphe M433, and I'm going to blend... Well, not blend. I'm going to mix the shade Cheek to Cheek and Made You Blush. Because those two shades are the ones I use on the crease and on the lid, and I really like them. So I'm going to use that to blend on the lower lash line. It's really, really pretty. I wish I would have gotten this for like Valentine's Day because this is like a really pretty palette for that. It's really, really pretty. I actually like it a lot. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of this Rimmel uh, Waterproof Eye Definer in the shade In the Nude. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of mascara on the lower lashes and I'm going to be using my favorite, the L'Oreal Voluminous Original. This one is in Blackest Black. For lip liner, I'm going to be going in with the MAC Lip Liner in the shade Soar. This one is my favorite, favorite lip liner and it's going to look perfect with the eyes. Now I'm just going to grab these two lipsticks from Maybelline. This one is in the shade Mauve For Me, and this one is Pink For Me. So I'm just gonna go in with Pink For Me first. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of Mauve For Me. But I feel like I want to lighten this up a little bit, so I'm gonna go in with the shade Cashmere from Makeup Revolution, or Revolution Pro. All right, so now I'm going to go in and set my face with this one right here. This one's really good, you guys. If you haven't tried it, definitely try it out. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Fix and Go. It's a two-in-one primer and setting spray. This is a shine control, locks in makeup, quick dry, and oil-free. And I definitely agree with the locks in makeup. It definitely makes my makeup last all day. 
All right, you guys, so this is the final look right here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I absolutely love this eyeshadow palette. When I say I love this, I love it. I am going to be using this a lot, a lot, a lot. When I do my makeup, of course, because you know these days I haven't been <laughs> doing it as much, but I really feel like this would be one of my go-to palettes, to be honest with you, and it's super affordable. So I really, really love this palette. If you want to try this out, pick it up at Ulta. That's where I got mine. Super affordable. I think it was like what, fifteen bucks? I want to say. I don't remember, but it was really good. And this right here is not bad either. I just don't know if it's going to make my makeup last. I'm gonna right now. It's what. It's kind of late. I don't know. Oh, what time is it? Uh, right now it is 8.01. I don't know how long I'm going to have my makeup on for, but I'll be able to see if it does hold on to my makeup, you know? Um, but yeah, I really do like the way everything turned out. I've definitely tried a lot of these products and those were the only two new products, but I love the way everything looks, you guys. Everything looks great. And hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I will hopefully be doing more like new product videos. I don't know. Times are hard right now. I mean, for me, I'm just like really focused on getting food, making sure I have all the basic necessities. So I don't know. But if you guys have really like seen my my videos and you guys know what palettes I have like leave me a comment down below letting me know what palettes you guys want me to reuse take out and film with I mean I would I'm gonna do that anyway I'm gonna have to go through all of my palettes and all of my makeup to see what I have and just come up with some new and fun things to film because you guys this is like my little way to like get away and forget about what's going on out there things are serious and i just need to kind of like relax a little bit because i am kind of freaking out a little but you know this is fun just a couple minutes getting myself put together even though i'm not going anywhere because i can't go out i have nowhere to go um and there's really nothing that's open at the moment so uh, yeah, like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.